Hello, this is our 1948 uh, Sun Distributor Machine. Uh, this is a 6 volt unit and uh, it's been converted over to LED. This is the LED right here. Uh, this stack over here with the slide, uh, this had a number of washers, about 8 or 9 washers. Uh, we reduce this down to 1 because the screw is captive and we need to have something there. Uh, where the capacitor used to be, uh, we put uh, about four or five washers and uh, the first mounting hole we have one washer and uh, use this other connection here with the ground lug for the re return of the LED. Uh, right now we have a, a distributor with just pickup coils in it and a lot of people want you to buy uh, custom boxes and all this other stuff is quite expensive in the hundreds of dollars. So with this system, you only need a, an HEI module, something you can pick up for $10. You connect it up to the coils. Uh, you do power, the points, and the ground, and a little bit of a heat sink, and you're all set. Uh, we do a little thing here. We're not using the batteries anymore because we have a 5-volt a wall wart that we convert down to 3-volts uh, with a couple resistors. and so. We use one of these IEC connectors. This is a standard connector you find on most electronics. Uh, it's got three holes. Everyone has a bunch of these lying around with cords and stuff. Uh, this hole pattern, uh, if you drill out the holes just a little bit, it mounts right in where the battery is. As I said, this is a six volt unit. Uh, this is the TAC. And the TAC uh, is working on 12 volts. We just had to cut out one little part to uh, make that work on 12 volts. Other than that, it works fine. TAC works fine. So let me fire this up. So right now you're, uh, you're seeing the firing points. But if you flick this switch, we have this dwell flash. Now this space in between here is the on dwell. And you can move your slide and measure that accurately. And the meter still works. This started out at uh, zero, now it's up. The RPM gauge works fine. We had to recalibrate that with the flash, but it was rather simple to do. The little uh, electronics that does this is just fits in this little module here. You tear it, take out everything in the back, put in 12 volts uh, from a cheap LED power supply, and uh, you're all set. It's a nice little unit now, and it'll attach to anything that's pretty much 12 volts. So that's the video for today. And uh, think about this: if you are at the point where your strobe LED, strobe uh, neon tube is getting weak, uh, these are nice and bright, and uh, it's a cheap setup, and you get to use 12 volt electronics without buying anything extra. So, thanks for watching.